Hello everyone. Welcome to Truth and Clarity, Christian News by Ajiro. And today, we are discussing a rather shocking story that has been circulating recently. It involves an altar call where individuals confess to engaging in acts with animals. Yes, you heard that right, and I know this might be hard to believe. So, let's take a moment to process this together and seek truth and clarity using scripture and wisdom. Which animal did you sleep with? Good. You, Uncle, which one do you sleep with? Foul. Eh? Foul. Nen, nen, wabu wai. Ola ano manu parangiko. Bsikat. I want to see you. If you don't come out, you may die. Evil spirit is following you. Don't be ashamed. Your life became worse, worse since that time. I know you will not like to come out. You will be ashamed to come out. But the result will be horrible. I won't even push. I know you will be very ashamed to come out. You make love with animal. Get their faces. Several boys, some slept with a dog. Some women slept with a dog. Don't get their face. Now, which animal did you sleep with? Good. You, Uncle, which one did you sleep with? Foul. Eh? Foul. Ask again. Foul. Yes, yes, yes. Don't be ashamed. If you don't come out, you may not be able to make money in your life again. Come out. Some slay with a dog, some slay with a goat. You carry your manhood, you put inside the. Oh my God. When they initiated, huh? when they initiated me in Ghana, uh -huh. they forced me to sleep with sickers. Now, which animal do you sleep with? Huh? Tolo, tolo. Tolo, tolo. you have make love with animal come the the voice said it to me you know sometimes when the lord speaks to me somebody i will be afraid i don't know that this thing is existing here if you know whether you're a man or woman you have make love with animal come unless your destiny is gone what do you sleep with eh? goat when i was goat okay. goat Nah. Which animal do you sleep with? Go lamb. Eh? I sleep with sheep. Sheep? You can't get with sheep. Atro. Eh? Goats. Goats. You want go? Eh? Goat and fowl. Eh? Goat and fowl. Goat and fowl. Goat and fowl. Go to foul. Sister, sister, which one do you sleep with? Dog. Which one do you sleep with? Dog. 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 Some of you, native doctors say you should go and do. Some of them, they went to Beragra and they said they should go and sleep with a goat. To fear, Christian, this night, you will bring all of them to my altar. Anybody that did not come out here will not come to the altar. That person will remain the way they are. It's like I should do open heaven from this ground. Hey. By the power bestowed upon me as the servant of the Most High, 
I plead God mercy upon all of you. Amen. And I break chains. Whatever following you for sleeping with an animal is hereby destroyed. Amen. Is hereby destroyed. Amen. Is hereby destroyed. Amen. Is hereby destroyed. Amen. Is hereby destroyed. Marabasha. Keri Mamasa. Kaga Babashaka. Sakakuta. Eli Brakata. You are set free Amen. for sleeping with animal. Uh-huh. Chain is broken. Chain is destroyed. Amen. The chain of sleeping with animal. Yeke baro. Mercy of God. Amen. I told you people, stop going to wish doctors. You people will not hear me. When you go to some of them, they will tell you the only way to make money is go and sleep with goat. Go and sleep with your mother. These things are evil. Those who go to other gods multiply their sorrow. Some of them say that nobody even told them they see goat and they start having hush. And they carry their manhood and put inside the hush, inside the goat private parts. Goat to to come private parts. Chineke mene mmade bere. Mercy of God upon all of you. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Please, from here, let them not go back to their chair. Because in their hand, I have no chair that you hire. From here, let them go straight to the back of altar. Evangelist Dubuca OBI's altar call. God told him to reveal people sleeping with animals in the confessions that followed. Ajiro's opinion. Now that you've seen the video, let's talk about this. First, I want to acknowledge that it's not uncommon for strange or disturbing stories to surface within church circles. But as believers, we need to be discerning about what we hear. The Bible tells us in 1 John 4 verse 1 to test the spirits to see whether they are from God. This is crucial. Just because something is shared in a church, service doesn't necessarily mean it's true or necessary to be broadcast to the world. The reality of sin. Now, I'm not denying that people may fall into very extreme sins. Romans 1 talks about people being given over to their desires, and we know that sin can manifest in many forms. But here's the thing. There's no reason to sensationalize these stories in such a way that causes shock or fear. The gospel is about redemption and hope, not about creating an atmosphere of horror. Sensationalism in Ministries We've seen cases where ministries, unfortunately, rely on shocking stories or extreme confessions to attract attention or stir emotions. In this case, Evangelist Ibuka OBI shared an altar call experience where, according to him, God instructed him to ask for confessions from people who had engaged in unnatural acts, including sleeping with animals. He mentioned that many people responded, confessing to such actions, goats, cows, sheep, rats, cats, and more. But as Christians, we need to be mindful of what we are communicating. Matthew 12 verse 39 warns us against seeking signs and sensational acts for the sake of spectacle. Jesus didn't focus on sensational details. He focused on bringing people to the truth of who he is and the love of God. God's forgiveness. One thing we should never forget is that God's forgiveness covers all sins. 1 John 1 verse 9 tells us that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. No matter how extreme the sin, the grace of God is sufficient. We are not here to shame anyone but to share the message of Jesus Christ. Wisdom in sharing. I believe that, while people may come forward with confessions, we should be wise in how we share them. Jesus often redirected focus from the sensational to the real issue, the transformation of the heart. We, as the body of Christ, need to focus on the truth of the gospel. So, as we process stories like this, let's remember Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything, is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thank you for joining me today on Truth and Clarity, Christian News by Ajiro. If you found this video helpful,
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into what's happening in the world of faith. Stay blessed and keep walking in the light of Christ.